period extending from the 8th until the 14th century, and specifically in the Abbasid era. The world has witnessed what is known by the Golden Age of Islam. A true Golden Age, as Neil Tyson said, there is no greater Golden Age in the history of the world before or after, when you look at some of the advances that came out of this period in Baghdad. During that time, Harun al-Rashid built a place like the internet in our current time. This place was called the House of Wisdom, or you can call it in English as it is in Arabic as Beit al-Hikmah, the first place where sciences from various fields met. At the beginning, the House of Wisdom included the Muslim scholars' works and books, where the world witnessed the evolution of several sciences, such as mathematics, medicine, astronomy, technology, and engineering, and many others. After that, Beit al-Hikmah expanded to include books from other civilizations, and this happened after al-Khalifa ordered to bring manuscripts that contain sciences from the other civilizations, led by the Roman Empire which was the most advanced civilization among the civilizations that appeared in Europe and included all the Greek sciences. In that time, there was a guy called Hunayn ibn Ishaq. He was a scientist, a doctor, a philosopher, but most importantly of all, he was a translator because during the years of his life, he was the main man in the house of wisdom, which was transformed from a place that contained sciences to the biggest center of translation in the world where Hunayn ibn Ishaq used to translate works and books from and into the languages which he mastered Arabic, Greek, Persian, and Syriac where Al-Khalif al-Ma'mun appointed him in charge of the House of Wisdom and gave him gold in exchange for his works and the salary of translators in the Abbasid era was very very high even if it was compared to our time as it amounted to 500 gold dinars per month which is equivalent to $24,000 per month Hunayn ibn Ishaq had a son and named him after his father so that his son's name became Ishaq ibn Hunayn and he helped him in translating manuscripts and books along with several other translators. Translators at the House of Wisdom were moving away from the literal transmission in their translations and focused only on conveying meanings clear and simple. And this is the basis of translation, translating meanings, not words. Did they really save the humanity? Yes, they did. After they brought books from other civilizations and translated them in the House of Wisdom, other civilizations fell and the majority of their works and books disappeared. And Hunayn ibn Ishaq and Ishaq ibn Hunayn had the honor of saving the humanity from returning to the zero point after the science in other civilizations reached to higher stages. And they did so by translation. Till that time, Baghdad was the most important place in the world in terms of science. Till its fall by the hands of Hulagu, who burned Beit al-Hikmah and threw the books in the Dajla river till the color of water became the color of ink and we will talk about this in another video inshallah Hunayn ibn Ishaq wrote 116 books in various fields especially in medicine and translated several works for several scholars such as Euclid, Galen, Aristotle and many others and he holds the title of Sheikh of Translators and his book The Ten Articles on Eyes is considered as the oldest regular textbook in the history of scientific research and in the first comment you will find some of his works and translations Subhanakallahumma bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk Peace